Welcome back to A Pattern a Day. This is day 29, and in this section, we're gonna study thirds. So this is an explainer video for thirds in case you need a little bit of a theory refresher course. So uh, intervals are the way we measure distance. And in, in music, we call them seconds and thirds and fourths and fifths. And really what it means is how many consecutive letters of the alphabet have you moved. So if we take a C scale and we want a third, it'd be C, D, E. So C to E, is called a major third because it's derived from a major scale. And you can do that from any uh, major scale. And that's why we use the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, unaltered at all, reflects a major scale, all right? So one to three is gonna be a major interval. If we wanna make it a minor interval, we just flat it, we'd call it a flat three. So one to flat three, C to E flat, is considered a minor third. We can do that with any key, right? So let's go to the key of F and do the same thing. So a major third in the key of F would be F, G, A. A minor third in the key of F would be F, G, A flat. And that's how thirds or the thirds that we're going to use today are, are going to work. Uh, if we go up a C scale and find all the thirds, let's do C. C to E. That's a major third. Let's do D. Well, that's a minor third because D in the key of D, F would be sharp. But since we're playing the C scale, it's an F natural, which is a flat of third. So D to F natural is a minor third. Let's do E. That's a minor third because in the key of E major, it would be a G sharp, so we had to make it a G natural, F. F to A is a major third because that's the way it happens in a F major scale, G. G to B is a major scale because that's the interval of G major, going to A. That's a minor third because in the key of A, E or C would be sharp. Let's go to B. That's a minor third because in the key of B, D would be sharp. Okay, so now we're just going to go up the C scale playing a third from every note from C to E. Try to visualize both notes at the same time because that'll later on that'll give us the ability to play that interval up, C to E, or play it down, E to C, right? Let's go to D, D, F. E. That's our first pattern.